Meet Maruo. He has Shinra's looks, Kenpachi's personality, and Saitama's problems. You see, when he was small, his abusive dad beat him and so he came to idolize the heroes in Shonen Jump like Goku, Jotaro, Kinikuman, and Kenshiro because they always look cool when they were bruised and scarred. So he starts using the training regiments from his manga. This happens to him and he's like, this is fine, everything is fine, and he keeps at it. Somehow this level of idiocy ends up actually making him ungodly strong. So he beats up his dad, who he perceived as the final boss of his story. Seriously though, this is actually his origin story. He's basically a hella swole chuny bro. Maruo sees himself as the lead in a manga, wink wink, but gets expelled from his school and washes out of every career path that he tries his hand at because he's basically a bull and the world around him is a china shop. At one point he even gently pats a guy on the shoulder and accidentally breaks his bone. There's no place in this world for him or his super strength. And everyone thinks that he's kind of a freak. And they'd be right. Like Kimpachi, he gets off in a good fight. And like Saitama, the lack of any worthy opponents really bums him out. He just wants a job where he gets to punch people and where people get to punch him back. And that last bit is important. He's into that, I guess. We don't judge. Just as he's losing hope in the possibility that he could live life like in a manga, this girl, Urata, shows up, running away from some Yakuza dudes. She has shark teeth, bushy brows, and hair like Judy from Street Fighter while sharing her strong step-on-me energy. That's right. For those of you that need it in your manga, you got some premium waifu material right here. Anyway, Maruo swats the Yakuza guys into space or something, I don't know, and then runs off with the girl. Then the real Yakuza guys show up. No, not them. These ones. And these guys are literal monsters. And it turns out that Urata is also a Yakuza bus monster girl herself. Nice. She tries to get Maruo to run away, but instead Maruo becomes Hawkeye for a moment, and then when one of them actually manages to make him bleed his own blood, it's game on. Like any normal, well-adjusted man, he flings a car at his opponents and then uses his version of a Kamehameha, which is just him punching the baddie's head off for some reason. Finally, Maruo and, I can't believe my Yakuza boss is this cute, make a blood pact so that Maruo can represent Urata in future duels. And that was the starting premise of a Yashimon made short. If it sounds like fun to you, please be sure to go check it out on Biz's app. There'll be new releases every Sunday with Shonen Jump. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. There'll be more on the way.